Hello everyone. I pray that you are doing blessed. I pray that you are doing well. I pray that God is fulfilling all your needs. Thank you, God. I think many of us want to escape problems. I know I do. But I feel problems help us grow spiritually if we choose to go through them based upon the Word of God. How can I grow in patience if I am not tested in the area of patience? How can I grow in faith if I am not tested there? How can I grow in long suffering and this and that if I am not tested in there? You may disagree with this, but I think this is so true if you read the Bible. I believe demons and Satan are used by God, yes. I believe they are used by God to help us spiritually. Not saying that demons want good to come to us. I am not saying that. I am not saying that demons and Satan are our friends. But what I believe, demons and Satan are here to bring us trouble so that we can grow closer to God. I am not saying that we should not pray against demons and Satan. I am not saying that. We should pray against demons in trouble. But please don't misunderstand what I am saying. I believe through problems, we can grow spiritually. For myself, I have been going through problems and I feel like Honestly, I am being tested in the area of patience, long suffering, and maybe some other things. If I were not to be going through problems in those areas, I may not grow more spiritually. If I was in an area where everything is perfect and whatever else, how can I grow? I believe one of the ways that I can grow is through hardships. I guess in a way I could, I can complain, you know, why I got this, why I got that, which I don't think it is wrong to respectfully ask God questions. But I can complain really poorly let me say this here. This life is not heaven. In heaven, I believe everything is going to be perfect. So, in a sense, do your time on this earth, then get to heaven. So, in a way, maybe not exactly, this life is like prison. Like, uh, <laughs> please follow what I am saying. This life is like prison. You know, like you may have to go through this, you may have to go through that. But after you pass this prison sentence, and if you do it the right way, I believe you can get to somewhere where there will be no more trouble. So go through the hardships you have to go through and get to the place where we should be at. This is one of the reasons why I think it is important to stick as close to Jesus Christ as possible because I believe life is a test. Imagine taking a test. 
a test when you were in school your test was not forever right the tests you would take would be temporary after your test your tests were temporary I believe this life is a test. Testing our words and behavior. Testing to see, testing us, I believe, according to the Bible. So once we pass from this life, depending upon how we test it in this life, I think it is going to, I believe based upon how we perform in this life determines where we are going to go in the next life. So pass the test. And I believe that you get credit for effort, truly effort, not saying I, I am trying, Kevin, I am trying. No, truly, truly place an effort. I used to think in the past that living for Jesus Christ is so boring and so restrictive and, and God should not require so much and blah, 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 blah. But as I grow more in Christ, as I mature more in Christ, you can have peace, happiness, and security in Jesus Christ. Once you begin to adopt more of his ways, I believe your way of thinking is going to change. I believe many of us know two plus two is four. But because, to make this easy to understand, but because you were in darkness for so long, you may have thought two plus two is six. So what I am trying to say, when you are in darkness, your way of thinking is off. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I believe most of the time when you are in deep sin and darkness, as I was saying, I believe your thinking is off. So your understanding of God is clouded by darkness. So what you have to do is get rid of that darkness and adopt the wisdom of God. I am trying to tell you, and this is coming from a person that did not want to serve God, but force yourself to live for Jesus Christ and as time passes by, as you gather more knowledge about him, I am telling you, I believe you will be happy that you live for Jesus Christ. Myself, I am happy. I am joyful that I live for Jesus Christ. Is it always easy? No. Is it always pleasant? Probably not. But I am so happy. And I can't even think about not living for him. Because I think it is suicide to try to live in this life with all these demons, with all this trouble, with all this chaos, trying to go around in this life without Jesus Christ. That is nonsense. That is unthinkable. That is strange. So I am happy I live for Jesus Christ. Am I telling you I am perfect? No. Am I telling you I don't do anything wrong? No. Am I telling you I am better than you? No. I believe we are in a race, a race to the finish line. You don't have to be the quickest. You don't have to be the slowest. You don't, you don't even have to be the medium person what's well i guess you are going to fit in 
in one of those categories, I guess. But the whole point is finishing the race. As in sticking to God all the way through to the day you die. Even if you trip in the race, even if you fall, get back up. Continuing, even if you have to limp to the finish line, even if you have to crawl to the finish line, do it. Hello? So you don't have to be the fastest person doing the most in Christ, saying the most in Christ, uh, winning the most souls in Christ. You don't have to be the best. What you should focus on is finishing the race. You may not be, you know, you may not be as good as me. You may not be as good as Johnny. You may not be as good as Susie. It doesn't matter. Finish the race. Stick with God. Try to follow his rules, no matter how much you fail, but stick with God until the day you die. If you do that, I believe you will finish the race. I hope this makes sense. You don't have to be the best. I am not the best. I don't really care to be the best. What I am focusing on is sticking with God until the day I die. Yes, I fail. Yes, I may fall. Yes, I may make mistakes. Whatever. Let me get back up and continuing and continue to try to do what is right no matter how long it takes me. Finish the race. Hello? Finish the race. Let me stop here. May God bless you.